Hey everyone! So today I have an empties video and I am trying to keep this quick. So I'm going to start with makeup and then go into beauty items and then like household items and that is my plan. So let's go ahead and start with the makeup and we'll see how long this takes. So for makeup, I did declutter a couple of items um, because they just are off like I've had them for too long so the first one is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation now I did use quite a bit of it the like foundation moves from the bottom up so I'm here so I only have like that much foundation left which is like pretty good to me um I had the shade light 44 cool which was definitely too dark for me so if I were to ever get this in the future I would definitely go a shade lighter or two I'm not really sure um it was an okay foundation I had a love-hate relationship with this. Um, sometimes it looked great, sometimes it looked awful. I just like couldn't ever find a pattern of like when it was looking great or when it wasn't looking good. So I don't know how I feel about this. I think it's a nice foundation. I would like get samples of it again to tr give it another try, but I'm not sure I would commit to buying like another full size. I just, I don't know. Um, the other item that I had to declutter is the Essence 2-in-1 eyeshadow liner, um, like the cream shadow stick that I was using for my shimmery eyeshadows. They don't, I couldn't find this again at Ulta, which is like such a bummer, but I did really like this. Um, it's just dried out. This is the shade Light Me Up. Um, it was a nice kind of like light shade and I would just draw it on my eyes, kind of tap it to blend it and then stick my shimmery shadow on top of it and it like locked in, like you really actually had to remove your makeup to get your eyeshadow off, which was great. That's what I wanted it for. So yeah, this was really nice. I, like I said, I couldn't find it at Ulta. I don't, I don't really know. Um, the other items I did use up, I have the NYX HD um, powder. This was the banana powder, which I thought was fine. Um, originally I was using it for, to set like my under eye powder, like concealer or whatever. I don't think that's a step that I need in my routine to have a separate powder. It's just not something I think I need. Um, but I think if you are looking for a banana powder, this is a really, really nice one. Um, I definitely would get the HD finishing powder again, maybe like in the translucent or like a, a shade that like matches my, you know, skin, skin tone. Wow, I'm like stuttering. <laughs> but yeah, I think it was fine. Um, I don't think I need a banana powder, but I think it was a nice enough powder. I finished up the my like favorite mascara, the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. I have repurchased. I always will repurchase. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite. I have tried the other ones. I think they're fine. They're good mascaras. This is just like the standout for me. Um, I also have a powder. This is my like holy grail powder, um, the Tarte Smooth Operator. I prefer the loose version. Um, it is a white powder, um, but yeah, I really, really love it. It keeps me matte. I am very, very oily, um, so this keeps me matte. If I sweep it across my face or if I really need to stay matte, I will take my beauty blender and like pounce it into my face, which works wonderfully. The other makeup item I have is the Makeup Geek Nude Eyeliner. It's just to the point where I can't sharpen it anymore. Um, this is a fine eyeliner. I do like having a nude eyeliner. I have not repurchased one. I probably should. Um, but yeah, this was nice. Um, I, I did enjoy it. I thought it was creamy, easy to work with. So yeah, I would look at it again. Um, the Skindinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. This is for oil control. This is really, really nice. Um, Skindinavia is the brand that makes the Urban Decay um, setting spray. So yeah, this is really nice. I definitely would have repurchased it again. I have some drugstore ones that I'm using right now. Um, and then once those are done, I have to decide like if they worked for me or not. Cause that's the other thing is I'm like trying to figure out how much a setting spray makes a difference. If it makes a difference, you know what I mean? So yeah. Um, okay. That's it for makeup. Um, now on to like random beauty items. I finished up a perfume. What? Um, this is the Hane Marie, um, oh god, what is this called? I freaking forgot what it's called. It means butterfly. I will link it down below. I'm having a brain fart, but it smells really, really nice. Um, yeah, it's just like a, it's just like a fresh, kind of fruity, a little bit sweet. This is the, um, Eau de Toilette, so it's not like the full perfume. It's a little bit more lighter, which I did enjoy. But yeah, I finished it. I would purchase this again. I really, really like it. Um, but I'm working on some other ones. Now that it's like more winter, I have some like deeper, kind of warmer scents that I also enjoy. 
I have a hand lotion or just a regular lotion, I suppose. This is the Aveeno Active Naturals Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I bought this while I was on one of my work trips. I needed a lotion and this is what I picked up. This was very nice. I did enjoy it. I don't think I would buy the full size because I like my Jason unscented lotion better and that's cheaper, but this was nice and if I needed to buy another one like while I'm on the road, I would get this again. Okay, I have the Andalou Naturals Lemon Sugar Facial Scrub. I have used up a bunch of these at this point. I really, really enjoy it. It is a harsh sugar scrub, so you do not need a lot. And you also should be very gentle. Like, you should not be, like, applying pressure to your skin. You should just glide your fingers over. So, um, yeah, I really like this. I have repurchased it. I usually can find them at, like, TJ Maxx, um, like, in the beauty section. So check there so you don't have to pay full price. Um, but, yeah, it is very nice if you, like, really want to exfoliate your skin. I also have the Derma E Overnight Peel with um, AHAs. This is a nice serum. I have repurchased it. Um, I did notice though over time when I used it every single night, it did kind of start to strip my skin. So I'm now using this like every other night roughly. Um, but if you have any sort of texture, just like bumps, um, any sort of like weird anything going on your skin, this will clear it up. I love this stuff. So I definitely have repurchased. I'm just not using it every single night, you know? Um, okay. I also have a micellar water. This is the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin. Um, this has salicylic acid in it. I, I didn't really like this. Um, I liked the concept of it, but it got like really cloudy and weird. Um, also it left my skin feeling very sticky. So I didn't use it on my face really. Then I kind of used it like on my shoulders or on my chest or my back. If I was like having a little bit of a breakout, it didn't really like help any and I just felt sticky. So I wasn't a fan of this. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it. The next item is the liquid coconut oil. So this is expeller pressed. Um, it's just like gone off, but this is what I was using in my eye makeup remover. Now I have a different oil that I'm using, but this is very nice. It just like, you know, it expires, oil expires. So it smells weird and it's, it's just not going to be used anymore. The other item I have is a deodorant. Now I am a sweater. It's what I do. I'm very good at it. Um, but I have hydro hyperhidrosis. So that means like I do have an actual like sweating condition. Um, so I do use an antiperspirant and I really like the old spice ones. Um, they smell really great. This is bear glove. I like this one and wild thorn or wolf thorn. I don't know. There's quite a few that smell very nice. It works really well for me as the one deodorant that works really well for me. Um, sometimes like on a really hot day, I do need to reapply, but I really, really like this and it works for me. So that's what I'm going to stick to. Okay. Now I have some like home items. Um, so the first thing I want to mention is this is super random, but I finished up a whole pen at work and I was really proud of myself. So I wanted to tell you, um, and these are my favorite pens. Um, I just buy them off of Amazon cause that's easy and Amazon prime. Um, but it's the Z grip flight, um, by zebra. These are so nice. They come in a variety of colors. They're super fun. They're clicky. Um, they, I just think they look nice. So yeah, I finished up a whole pen. I don't know. Some people find that satisfying. I am one of those people. Okay. For home items, I finished up a hand soap. Well, this was like gifted to me. Um, if you don't know, I bought a townhouse in April, which is like crazy. Um, and so when I moved in, the previous owners had left this hand soap in the bathroom on the main floor while like they were showing it and stuff. So I just finished it up. Um, this is the Bath and Body Works French um, Lavender foaming hand soap and it has coconut oil. I haven't used a Bath and Body Works hand soap in years and so it's like kind of weird. I'm also not a fan of lavender so like I was just trying to get this stuff gone and like whenever I had people over I was like please use the soap like I, I can't. So um, it wasn't my favorite. I don't really like foaming hand soaps. I prefer more of a gel. Also I'm just not a Bath and Body Works like fan anymore. I feel like the scents are very, very strong compared to what I'm using now. My scents are like, they're nice, but they're not like overpowering. So anyway, it was fine. It's gone. I'm not going to buy it again. Um, okay, let's do candles. So over the summer, I had a little candle concoction in my main, like, my dining room and living room and kitchen. It's like kind of like open concept, so they kind of all feed into each other. But the combo I had going 
was this is from Chesapeake Bay, which also like, by the way, do you, can you see how far that burned down? It literally burned the whole way down, like very impressed. Um, so this is the aloe and basil scent, which is super nice. It was just kind of like a light refreshing. It was very nice. I liked it. And then I paired it with this DW um, Home Heirloom Tomato. This is so good. I saw them at TJ Maxx and I picked up another big one. It is such a nice, like, sorry. Um, it is such a nice, refreshing scent. I know it kind of sounds weird, like tomato, but it's so nice. I don't even know how to describe it. Maybe there's like a thing on the bottom to help me because I don't know. Yeah, no, it doesn't help me. Um, but it's it's really, really good. I definitely recommend it. I get my candles usually, well, this one was at Target, but was it? No, this one was TJ Maxx. Okay, I usually get my candles at TJ Maxx just because I, I really love the DW and now the Chesapeake Bay. So there you go. Um, okay, just a couple of cleaning things. This is the Method Anti-Back Bathroom Cleaner and this is the Spearmint. I did not like this. I know some people are all about the Method Anti-Back. I can't stand them. Um, I don't know what's actually in here. Like, I don't know if it's baking soda or like what, but there's like a powder particle in this. And when I spray it, it goes up my nose. Like I can't be in the area. I feel like I need to sneeze for like two days afterwards. It's just too much for me. So, um, I am not a fan, but I did finish it up. So like good for me. Um, I've really been into clean with me videos. They really actually do motivate me quite a bit. So that's helped. Um, but yeah, this is not something I'm going to repurchase. I'm using the seventh generation antibacterial cleanser or cleaner. Um, and that's really nice. I really only use anti-bac, um, like on any like sort of like, like toilets. Um, and then any other, other surfaces, like in my kitchen, like if I'm using cutting board. I'll wash it with soap and water, but also go over it with um, disinfectant just because like meat and you know, stuff like that. Okay, sorry. The other cleaner I had, this was from Growth. Um, this was the all purpose cleaner, like concentrate. It was fine. I do prefer the Mrs. Myers concentrate. Um, and I talked about that in my like eco video that I did. Um, so I won't be purchasing these again, but it was fine. Um, I don't know. Meh. All right, the last thing is my laundry detergent. I use the 7th Generation Ultra Power Plus um, laundry. It is the fresh citrus scent. It is so good. They come in little like powder pods. You throw one in, you're good to go. It seriously does get pretty much everything out. Um, it's plant-based, which is like kind of fun and cool and like is helpful for me. You can use it on HE washer dryer. You can use it with hot or cold. I pretty much only wash my stuff on my like, clothes on cold and then like towels and sheets I wash on hot, you know, germs. Um, so yeah, this is, this is really, really nice. I definitely would recommend you guys. That's it. Those are all the empties. We're like hitting the 13 minute mark. I'm pretty proud of that. So I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you've used up over the summer. Um, and then yeah, next time I kind of get a big like grouping of products. What I do is I have this, um, old Sephora bag that I have in my bathroom closet and I just throw crap in there when I finish it and once it gets full I'm gonna film a video so that's how that's gonna work but yeah thanks for watching I will see you guys in my next one bye